Welcome to beautiful but pungent Arrow in Your Head Stadium in Carcass City, Misery. Come for the football, stay for the barbecue. Just don't ask what the meat is, or who, unless you really want to know. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Mile High Chronic take on the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> no, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Hot one. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. You need passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Third down and three. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll bring up third and one. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Thank you very much, says the defender. Wow, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and long. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Third down and long. Another interception. Well, that's a real buzzkill. Oh, you knew you were going to 
see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. never happened because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. I had to step to the right. I do. And that player has one speed. He's the holy crap. He runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the, oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. He refuses to go down. Nice pickup for six yards. Third down and three. Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they you not know, the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> he tried to throw the ball, but it keeps coming back to him. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. Races that play by calling a time warp dirty trick. With a bit of a mind flip. The defense is into a time slip. And nothing can ever be the same. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Third down and three. in the head with a bulldog rim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose hits a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten.
And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. And he runs it and boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and more than the QB would like. He could go all the way. Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Oh, for fuck's sake. I won't even get out of Second down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, hot three. He is put in a rumble for big yardage on that play. They're back in business. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> Forever. Boom! Oh, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snap? Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> and it's first and ten.
Second down in a very lot. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's at the 20. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little guilty. I can't tell if this is a seizure or a celebration. Either way, <laughs> the fans are loving it. Yeah, where's my Drake Mize? I'm going to put this guy in his fucking misery. Oh, my God. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and six. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second down and two. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and six. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, well, is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap, I had money on him biting the big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me. And it's first and ten. Sandwich. Second down and six. And so that's the two minute warning.
Second down and six. If he had getting killed by a chainsaw before he could <laughs> Send a message for that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. He's at the 40. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's at the 30. The 20. Has followed the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outfit. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. Uh, Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. This one's so easy, they should call it Brett's mom. <laughs> True jokes are the ones that hurt the most. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's up. No doubt about it. He says, I'm taking you with me. He could go all the... And yeah, never mind. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just said that. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Nicely done for a first down. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck, Alex! First and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Oh.
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Keeps up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves it. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. run for five yards second down and five and with another pick the QB says I don't almost throw interceptions but when I do oh he just got popped big time oh my god I thought his head was gonna pop off like a big zip And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. First and goal. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I'll teach you a lesson. Hold everything. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Walk Dirty Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Huh? Huh? Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and ten. Huh? Little baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. One speed, engage. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Two. Hot. 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 Oh, and that's how you run the football. First down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the team. The MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. <laughs> and it's first.
first and ten. Oh my gosh! The defensive play looks like he's lost his mind! Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, nah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah. Didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Hot. Hot one. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Man, what a hit that was. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> first down and inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man. oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. We lost the bleeps, the sweeps, and most importantly, the carcass city creeps here at home. Everyone is dead, so the creeps forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I fall. I take all you mutants out. That's yeah, right. Hey. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League.
Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other...